Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Cyberlab and today will be another video about Arclone. The truth that's not only Arclone, it's Nextcloud as well. In the previous video, I show how you can do a cloud sync using TrueNAS. As well, I show how you can connect to your Google Drive using Arclone. Why not use the Nextcloud? That it's quite a good option and you can host not necessarily in your house, but you can host in different places. Or you have a host in your friend's house or another server in another place and in this way it's quite easy. So, in this video I will show how you can do it. I will show how you can connect through the Arclone your next cloud. In this case I will have two servers. One of those is working with TrueNAS and another one is OpenMediaVal where you can connect and do this uh, cloud sync in the way that all your information that's in your computer is stored in your next cloud. As well, I will show how you can do the mount, but as I'm trying in my computer, I don't know if it's the server that's not fast enough, or maybe it's the system that it has some limitation, but when you do the mount, they don't work the way that you expect. But anyway, we're gonna see it and we'll look for the performance. If you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel, and let's see how we can do it. Before I start to show how you can do this configuration, I will go for my server. This server that I'm using, I installed TrueNAS and I have a co-processor i5, it's third generation, it's not so new, but it's still working. They have four threads and this computer has 7.8 gigabytes of run. I have two hard drives. This hard drive, it's around 500 gigabyte each. So I have a usable space, 439 gigabytes. If I come here in plugins, I have uh, my next cloud installed and in this next cloud installed I can open it. One thing that is limitation for this uh, connection it's because you need to have external access. But don't worry, web dev work with different applications, but yes, you need to have if you're looking local, they don't work the way they expect. So you need to create an external website with SSL certification, everything in the correct way. So this one, it's my next cloud, right? Have open with my user Cyber Lab, and that's you're gonna ask why next cloud and why you I want to choose next cloud. Basic next cloud, it's one of options for open source uh, cloud system, where you can work as a cloud, you can access any, any place that you want. You can see all the revisions that you did. You can look for favorites, share informations. You can check all your delete files, all your settings. You can have different activities, different contacts. If I come in settings and come user, I have uh, two users set up. Let me open here. And these two users, the first one is related from the TrueNAS. All the time that you install through TrueNAS, they will create this user. And the second one I create both as administrator. Remember, if you do installation directly in Docker, you're going to create any user that you want. As well, you have a lots of different applications, a lots of different functionality that only help you. If I come here back in this file, we're going to use this page in a minute, but then now I will show which server that I will install the Arclone and do the connection. The server that I'm going to install the Arclone is this one. It's not a server, it's a virtual machine where I install the OpenMediaVal. They are share one processor for my computer and I have only one gigabyte of uh, run memory. Where are we going to set up our system? We're going to set up here in our share folders in the folder called data. So have this one, we're gonna need it to open our put to do all the installations. But uh, before we start to open our put and look for the SSH, we're gonna look at what information that we need to do in order to install Nextcloud. To install, it's really easy. I already had installed the Arclone disk server, so we'll not be able to install again. But uh, first, you need to install the core. To install the core will be apt get installed core. That's it, you've done this job. And that you can only copy this line and install through this line. It's only copy this one, put run, and it's done. What's more important is the part of configuration. So we're gonna show how we can configure it. Now we're gonna open our putty and that is started to configure our Arclone. Okay, I just opened my putty and now I can start to do my configuration. The configuration that we're gonna do is using Arclone. So we'll put Arclone config and put enter. Now desk. You don't have any remote, you what you want to do. I want to create a new remote, so we'll put new. What's the name of the remote? As I'm gonna to connect to the next cloud, it's easy, we'll put next cloud and put enter. 
Now I have a lots of different types of connections. If you go up here, I have more, 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 but they don't have a specific Nextcloud. Why? Because the way that you're gonna connect to the Nextcloud will be web dev. So what we needed to do before we started to put web dev here, we're gonna open our Nextcloud again, and we're gonna check if it's really true what I say. I come here, settings, and here appear web dev and the website that you're gonna use. So I can come here and copy it because we're gonna use in a minute. We come back now, we put it and I will put web dev and put enter. Now they ask what website that you want to connect. Remember that you just copy that link. Yes, we're gonna paste it now. So I'm use HTTPS cloud cyberlab.com, exactly the same URL that's showing the next cloud. So now I can put enter and they ask which option of cloud that you want to connect. They say next cloud, on cloud, SharePoint, SharePoint with NTL, I don't know what's it, and others. So we're gonna choose next cloud, so one and enter. They ask what user that I'm using. My user is Cyberlab, so we'll put Cyberlab, and now my password. If you don't have password, you don't need. They ask if you, they want to generate automatic password, but they say, yes, I have my password already created. So yes, and end. Hopefully I write correctly my password. Now they ask if you want to put any token or anything, I believe as empty, no problem for me. And they ask, you want to do any advanced configuration? No, I don't need it, so no, enter. And now it's the time that you can review. So the name of connection, next cloud, tape web dev, the URL that we're gonna use, the vendor, the use and my password. So everything's fine, I put yes and end. Now I have my remote configured, but I don't know if it's working it or not. So I put quit, and now I check if it's work. First I will clean this page to be a little bit more tight, clear, and now I put R, clone ls for locate all the files that things there and I put next cloud two dots and enter so now they will take a little bit uh, time to look and appear all the files that I have and the size of the file so it's totally fine so now I will open word I try to open the notepad what I used to like but because of this string so big and the size I cannot configure it the way that I want they will not look so clear for everyone so this way would work better. Only because it's easy for me, I already copy all the information, but I will go through this information with you. Here it's uh, Arclan mount. It's the idea that we want to do, where I locate my configuration, my user, my UMask, my JID and UID, IDs for the user. I will put allowed others, and now I will define where I save my cache. So let's open my SMB. Here it's um, my SMB already open for my open media file five, that is the server. And I already created a folder called cloud. So let's open here. And inside, inside this folder, I have the cache and my data. My data is clean, don't have anything. And here my cache. This reason that I put this location as a cache. Other thing that I put, it's cache full. I leave only one gigabyte of cache. I can put more, but it will not make so much difference. The limits of bandwidth, let's remove it only to see if they work fast. And that's uh, the connection or the remote that I want to connect. It will be next cloud. And here will be my information. So this will be the location that they will do the mount. I can copy here, come back in my SSH. I can clear all this information which will be tight again. And I paste it and put enter. If you did all right, there will not appear any information as an error. So now I can open again my SMB and look for my data. Here my data already appear all the information for our next cloud. So let's come here and create some files. Let me create a file called Sauberlab. So let's get some extra pictures and put this folder. Come here and copy. Will be around uh, 100 something megabytes. And here I have some pictures as well. And here all my information. What I can do? I can come here in my next cloud and here I have the information. It's not updated yet, but if I come in for refresh this page here they should start to appear I already appear my cyber lab here and I already appear my information for pictures I think that because I have others picture there and mix some of those because I already have a folder called picture but uh, anyway ah pictures here I have all my pictures here it's working well mm, I don't know if it work well because if I come here and potentially delete all these pictures let's delete the folder thing that's easy you know so let's delete the folder, pictures, I come here, delete, and I just delete it. So I come here in my file, put refresh, and 
nothing. They didn't delete yet. So my picture is still here, but they didn't upload and update in a fast way. This is the problem. If you do anything in your next cloud, they will take some time to understand that uh, you can delete it. They should disappear. Or sometimes they will not disappear. Maybe this is the, my problem. If I create anything, they will upload quite fast here. So let's put here again. And I have new folder. If I create something here, let me copy my pictures here in my new folder. It will take some seconds. They are running 35, 41, and it's soon it's finished. If I come here in my new folder and put refresh and come here, it didn't appear. Why? I don't know why, because they only do one way sync, not the other way. It's something that I was expecting to work better. If I come here out and try to open picture, they didn't work because they take a little bit time. What's the best thing in my opinion? You can do a sync policy or a copy policy. How we can do this copy? So let's do this copy. So I clone copy the location of the place that I want to copy. Inside I will create a folder called OMV5. So let's do it now. I come here and create a folder called OMV5, new folder OMV5 and put create. So I have a OMV5 folder. And now let's delete these ones. One thing that is good for Nextcloud because you have a history for everything. So if I come here, delete, I have what has been deleted and the time I can restore it. And they keep a kind of uh, saved information. So if I come back in my word, copy all this information here, come in my putty, cancel this one. Remember, once that you cancel, they will disappear that folder in your SMB. Let's show you. Cloud, if I refresh it, they disappear. Only way to reappear it will be restart a computer or create another folder or properly close this action. But in this way, I'll not do, only get this information and put enter. So now they will have some problem with some information that is locked for this user server lab, but the rest of information will only copy for my next cloud. So let's try it. If I come here and click OMV, they already start to appear the information. So I have my cloud here with the cache that they was great and here. So they will take a little bit time because it's quite a lot of files and they need to upload, but uh, depend of your internet speed, they will upload quite fast. Other thing that you can do, you can set that will be hourly update. So if I come here in my server again, I can come in a schedule job. I can add a new schedule, come here for hourly and I can copy exactly the same that I did. And now every hour they will do a copy of my information, but I'm not happy to copy. Let's sync it, you know, let's put Sync. So all the information that you have in your server will be exactly the same in your next cloud and each hour they will review it and check if everything's okay. So now I can uh, put as a reboot once a year, but um, one a day or once an hour is totally fine. Have this one I can save and then each hour they will do the sync and upload all the information that you have in your server in your next cloud. This way you have a, a kind of protection. If you get any kind of virus, they will protect you that will be save this information. The same thing that I show how to do in TrueNAS, you can do in next cloud using the Arc Loan. So guys, I hope that you like. In this way, you can use the Open Media Bow to connect for our next cloud and do a sync or backup for all the information for you have exactly the same information that you have in your server in your cloud. In this case, next cloud. If you like this video and think that was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.